Today we'll be introducing the conflict-related sexual violence against the male gender team, which is also known as the sexual violence team. So you may be wondering, who are we? So what we actually strive to do is to break the silence and create awareness concerning conflict-related sexual violence against the male gender, but we also address associated statements. As you can tell from the slides, we do it in several ways. And we do it in order to achieve legislative change in domestic jurisdictions because conflict-related sexual violence against men is still not yet recognized in many countries. Our task is fundamentally to seek to raise awareness around the use of conflict-related sexual violence as a weapon of war. Our focus will be conflict-related sexual violence perpetrated against the male gender. And lastly, the main reason why we do it is because although conflict-related sexual violence is experienced by all genders, males constitute the focus of our work as they are often overlooked as victims in both theory and practice. The team is engaged in the creation of the toolkit in order to support victims of conflict-related sexual violence, as well as service providers. The current state of affairs show that there needs to be significant improvement in service delivery, particularly when it comes to support for male victims of CRSV. The Sexual Violence Magazine. Each year, the SV team strives to release one or two magazines in order to raise awareness surrounding issues pertaining to conflict-related sexual violence in the African continent both by writing articles as well as interviewing prominent experts in the field. Country Spotlight. Every second to third month, we aim to discuss how the issues of CRSV against the male gender unfolds in various African countries. In doing so, we address the existing situation in each country, the challenges faced within the country to combat CRSV, the progress made by relevant countries, current cases being heard at the international courts and tribunals, as well as information dealing uh, detailing where further research can be found. The ground reports are another publication which the SV team seeks to release once or twice a year. The reports address the situation in a particular country on a much deeper level than provided in the aforementioned country spotlight. In particular, they seek to draw attention to the current situation on the ground to identify root causes of such violence as well as to examine the relevant domestic and international framework and the impact in a, in, in a particular way. Networking, we are continu continually engaged in collaboration with stakeholders and other relevant actors involved in combating CRSV. The annual conference, each year the SV team organizes a, an annual conference, each of which has different um, overreaching themes. The, in, the intention behind the conference is to shed light on male survivors, experiences, and encourage various key players in different disciplines to take the initiative in addressing this issue, as well as to contribute to the universal recognition and adequate protection of male survivors of conflict-related sexual violence. In doing so, the conference draws on a range of perspectives from various experts, including from the legal, uh, legal, physical, and psychological medical fields, to name a few. These are the few of the magazines the sexual violence team has released over the past few years. Each magazine touches upon a different issue on the topic of sexual violence against the male gender in the African continent. It also highlights countries combating conflict-related sexual violence. We also have publications of our ground reports on Democratic Republic of Congo and Sudan. We named our conference report in 2018, Conflict-Related Sexual Violence, the Male Perspective. In 2018, we published our conference report called The Male Perspective, The Unseen, Unheard and Unspoken. In 2020 and 2021, we focused on child soldiers and forced migration. We also published two annual reports in 2019 and 2020. If you want to know more about our team, please check out our website. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, or send us an email. Thank you so much for watching this video.